Anyway, Doki Doki. Oh no. I realize what I've done. <laughs> I hear it. Oh no. I hear the roars of Sayori in the background right now. Oh. You're back? Welcome back, Logan. We're about to enter hell! Uh, also, Miyuka, I love you, my boy. Gotta go. Okay, so like I said, if I, I, it's gonna be a little bit of a delay for me to read chat because I can't see chat with this game open. That's okay. I can see it moving. This is a blind- I'm going in this blind. I already know most of the gist of what this game is. Now, because of uh, Sayori, and I'm pretty sure Yuri is. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. Is Yuri's fucking legs backwards? Oh no, no, they're they're fine. They're fine. So, all right, this looks scary. Oh, yeah, yeah. I I found out about this the hard way. All right. And oh yeah, I played this in Halloween. Let's go. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Oh that's right, we were on the we were on words, right? We gotta pick words. I uh, I gotta get rid of those. Anyway. Uh so I feel disoriented because I'm playing this game. Gotta get rid of those. Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Um. Feel anxious. Uh. Oh my god. I. Uh, determination, because Undertale. I am la lazy. I. Uh, oh. I gotta keep calm, right? Um, poof, fluffy. Well, fluffy isn't bad. Uh, incongruence, vitality. There's the funny word. Um, but uh, what? Wait. Oh, wait a minute. So if I press the right click, it makes the thing go away. That's funny. So like, could I like, theoretically- oh, That's funny. Okay. Alright. Um. Let's see. Hope. Uh. Melancholy. Parfait. Fantasy? Uh. Unending. Uh. Adventure. Unstable. Love. Uh, promise. Normally, I'd let chat do these real quick, but I kind of want to take control for a little bit with this. Uh, philosophy, contamination, spinning, because I'm spin. Uh, rain cloud. Uh. Uh. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Game. Monica, did you have something to do with this by any chance? I guess. I guess now and now we begin the insanity that is this fucking game. <clears throat> Another day passes. It's time for the club meeting already. Got a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. And I, I haven't. I haven't. This game really makes me uncomfortable. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, August. Ah, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. But the weight of yesterday's quarrel- Wait, was it a few days or was it yesterday's? What? What? 
But the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Uh, um. Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading a manga at a desk. It's surprising, Monica isn't here yet. What I tell you. I feel like she's up to something here. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Yuri, listen. Listen. I literally saw it say I already fucking kill herself? Nothing's gonna surprise me anymore. I feel like I'm gonna eat my words later. I guarantee it. Okay. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri. I'm happy that you you were considered and apologize. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any- No, 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 no. Honestly, he's right. I mean, I mean, I'm right. It didn't make me think any less of her. However... That was kind of fucked. What I witnessed. The other day, on Halloween. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. Why do I feel like I'm gonna eat that later? And now that I, you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Ah, August. Don't say the, those kind kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around Anne. Ah, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Have you guys seen Monica? Eh? No, I haven't. I was kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, um, Natsuki, about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. Well, I mean, at least it's good that they're making up. I mean, usually, these two are a fucking cat and dog. They usually, like, claw each other to death. Anyway. Uh, I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Yeah? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I find it funny that that text has finally come to light. Like, the last time I played this, right, it sped up to the point where I had to, like, midstream, stop what I'm doing, clip my own fucking stream, and then go back and see what it said. Or had another one of my chat members, I think Ace or Cat, stop, stop what they're doing and tell me what this they're saying. So I'm glad it's now being fair. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? You know what's funny? I think she means that literal because literally in the text it said, whatever. It said like, like, oh yeah, like, it was a few days ago. Or it was yesterday. Who fucking knows, really? Game, you're fucking confusing. But then again, Salvato, he's a confusing guy, I suppose. Uh, but, but, I'll accept your apology if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I always, I was always afraid you secretly hating me or something like that. Why does she have uh, Monica's look? No, no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Atsuki turns to me. You're still on, you're still on trial, though. Hey! But the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ugh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried. I, I mean, I was fine until you showed up. Thanks, Monica. Uh, nah. Well, Natsuki was... I was not. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Ah, well, my last period today was study hall. 
To be honest, I kind of lost track of time. Why do I feel like you mean that in a literal sense? <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You haven't heard- you, you would have heard the bell ring at least. I must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good at it yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Ah, uh, well thanks, Yuri. I'm looking for the little glitchy details. You should also play something for us sometime. <laughs> thanks. Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. That sounds cool. I'll look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, August. I'll come smile sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I was hoping I could share with it, it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure what sure if Monica was rubbing to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. So I guess Natsuki lives in the closet now. That's nice. Uh, August. Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I planned it on it anyway. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. If. if. I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Y yeah, but... I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yeah, why do I feel like, like, Yuri has, like, some, like... <sighs> autism to her. I don't know. Like... Because, like, I understand, like, when you get to that point where, like, your heart starts beating and shit, and, like, you're so hyper, like, excited that you can't calm down. Like, I've had that happen to me quite a lot. Like, I have to actually have to pull myself away from something and, like, take a deep breath and calm down. I don't know if that's autism or if that's anxiety, which I have both. Boy, I'm seeing patterns here in Yuri. Alright. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make me make my reading time here any better, not to mention you for yourself as well. Yuri stands up to make her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher, pitcher and also fetches me fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk. And then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well walk with you. That's okay, you stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the- Yuri hurries. That's funny. Uh, out of the classroom. Huh. Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm just bored waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be the nearest water fountain. She had to hand it down the hallway. <laughs> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Sharp inhale, and like it's sucking the air through her teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Fuck, she's a cutter.
Well, shit. God damn it. Okay. Alright. Alright, I see where I'm go I see where this is going. So Yuri is a cutter. Alright! Now I know what's happening. Cool! Thanks, game. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. No! August, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. You already set the temperature on the kettle since you're 100 degrees. Yeah! You definitely will! With your blood coming out of your fucking arm! Now it's time to get the teapot. You you really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even though I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you'll even be more impressed. Or perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. Listen, I have no issue with people cutting themselves. I actually- you know what, no. I have a high fucking issue with people cutting themselves. Um... If you- if you are actually a cutter, please go get some help. Like, please call or talk to someone. Like, anyone. Cause, like... Yeah, just fucking call someone, please. Or talk to someone, cause like... That's actually kinda severe. <laughs> Uh, you make it seem like you have issues with this. I do. I fucking do. I highly, highly have a personal issue with this. Like, a very high, high personal issue. Anyway. To my surprise, she starts humming her a little to herself. Uh, you must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's Hmm. It... Now I can't look at her the same way, because now all I can think of is my little sister. Anyway. Because of the the, the whole cutting thing. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I wanna see who's around anyway. Ah. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. She she clearly has no problem doing that. You're always worried about me, August. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea over it. August, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh, why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I, I can read with my back against the wall, bend then bending over at my desk. I'm... Ah, oh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I, I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I don't... I do my best to manage it. Yeah, yeah, you know what? That's true, because I'm kind of tall myself, and like... Yeah, I deal with back pain too, so like, that makes sense. Cutting thing, however, no. No, no, no. I, I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my, uh, my, my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? It, yes! I have terrible reading posturing. That's why I should sit, we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. And a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri. Uh, Yuri and I then sit against the wall teacups at our side. Uh, as if we were in sync, as if in sync, we assumed that same reading position at the only, okay. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus when reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding in my hand is not holding, and that's not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure that I don't accidentally touch your chest. Well, there's more than you should fucking worry about, but I mean, yeah, okay. That's more than enough thing you should worry about. Yeah, don't touch your- don't touch your chest. Just... Game, you make me angry! You make me angry sometimes! 
Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears an intense reading expression and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. Use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few- you know what? I think the game is mocking me now because I know I've seen her fucking cutting and now it's just like, yeah dude, try to focus your willpower on the game now, motherfucker. Now that you know that Yuri's a cutter, you you stupid cunt. <laughs> and it's just like, you're making me angry, game. Okay. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little and put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Oh, sorry. Briefly let go of my uh, go of the book and finish opening the wrapper. You can have them as much as you want. Ah, oh, that's that's okay. I won't take any. <sighs> Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, oh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Sure. Of course. Yuri opens the book in both both hands. She holds it so that I don't have to. I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically less resting on my on top of my leg. And I, well, in that case, uh, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply puts, parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that, but that means I can't stop here. Maybe Sho has a point. Like, maybe a lot of people have a point where, like, she, like... Maybe that's what sparks this whole, like... Hey, let's have a waking version of this fucking game, right? Yeah. Okay. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Yeah? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. It, yeah, yeah, that happened. Um, August. Sorry, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I, I can't. August? Yuri, suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. August. My heart. My heart stopped home pounding, August. And calm down. Can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, August? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Can't make it stop. It makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Hey chat, Yuri wants to look at you. You want to look at Yuri? You know what? This isn't even disturbing anymore. This is just like, it's just what it is. <laughs> like, wait, hold on. Is it like, no, it's not. It's not in motion with the mouse. I thought it was in motion with the mouse. I was like, wait a minute. Huh. This is really disturbing. Like, now it's gotten to the point where it's like, okay, this is uncomfortable. Like, knowing that she's a cutter and now this, like, um, it's time to share poems. Alright, game. You're really forcing my hand here. Okay. You, you've you clearly shown all the signs. So far. So, this time, game, Salvato, um, I know what's gonna happen, probably. Guaranteed. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna picture it in my head right now. I don't even need to look at this, I can just... She's gonna be like... Like, Yandev's fucking wet dream, right? Where she has a knife in her hand. She's slicing her her, her arm, right? And uh, she's just 
obsessively saying I love you. Right? To the point where she kills herself. Is that is that what's gonna happen, game? I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like this is this is kind of like Whatever. Let's go to Yuri. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? August. This one might even be better than yesterday's. How did you, uh, even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. But Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Ah, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, August. Everything that you, that you write uh, is a treasure to me. My heart is ju pounds just holding it. <laughs> I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, August? I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a harder time than usual concealing my emotions. Oh, okay. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem, too. Okay? Alright, here we go. F happy fun time, August can't read cursive. Let's go. A wheel. A rotating wheel turning an axle, grinding uh, both head linear gearbox, falling skies, seven holy stakes, a docked ship, uh, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, uh, a torn harness, a parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions. Drowning, a prayer with written in blood, a prayer written in time-devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting uh, all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding star. What is this girl on right now? Like, did she like just pull like a, a like an HP Lovecraft? Like, did she just like suck a little bit of Cthulhu juice a little bit too much and was like? Yep. Gotta write this poem now. <laughs> like, I think she sucked Cthulhu's tentacles a little too hard. What? Why is Cthulhu being brought up in this stream too much? Jesus Christ. Whatever. It's fine. Um, six dimensions, forty gears, a ticking clock. A clock that ticks or one second of every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time. A bottle of... A bolt head of holy stakes tight... Oh. Okay, that seems to be like a lot. It literally was just repeating itself. What the fuck? Okay. Doesn't really matter what it's about. You know what? No, you're right. Because it literally was just repetitive. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out of out on your pen. Ah. That is a pen. That is a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping in. I um just really like the way it, that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. Chat, she's giving me Taylor vibes. God damn it. Ah. Why? Of all games, why? Anyway, Natsuki. Let's go. Hmm. Well, I can admit that's better than the last one. It's nice to see that you're putting in some effort. Excuse me, by the way. I'm sorry about that. That's good. That came out of nowhere. Um, just make sure you define, find a little bit of influence from everyone. I think you're at least being influential by Yuri a little bit, aren't you? I mean, I know you've been, like, spending time with her or whatever. But you know, Monica and I are just good as her. At, at poems, I mean. So you should really try to learn something or you'll never get better. Oh. Here's one that I wrote. I'll make sure you learn something from it. Uh, I think Natsu is like the best character because she's such a bitch, right? But then you read her poems and you're just like, oh, 
Oh, okay. I understand now. Like, I kind of just want to give Natsu, like, head pats and be like, it's okay. I understand that bitchy exterior, in uh, the soft, the soft-shelled in interior. Soft, gooey interior. I understand. I, I understand too well. Oi. I get it. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy. Amy likes spiders. Icky, icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes... She likes spiders. Because we have to bring Muffet into this. Uh, that's why I'm not friends with her. Um... Amy, okay, yeah. One time I hurt my leg really b bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders. So her hand, hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. Uh-huh. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. But what if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she's hurt. She doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off with that spider lovers. I'm gonna tell everyone. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Natsu. Natsu, you're fucking great. Like, uh, when I first started this game, like, I fucking hated your ass. But you're like one of those characters where it's just like, you hate them so much, but you gotta love them when they do stupid shit like this. Oh man, Natsu, you're fucking, you're great. Not bad, right? That's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday was, was way too short. I just was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyways, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Like anyone would agree with the subject of the poem is an ignorant jerk. Everyone who has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out they make fun of you or less think less of you. You know what's funny? That's actually funny because that's the type of culture that I, uh, that I'm against on this channel. Funny enough. Like, yeah, everyone has a guilty pleasure. Everyone has something that they like that's a little weird. Granted. The people who like illegal shit should get the fuck out of here. But people who like have weird shit, like yeah, like you're you're human too. Like you're not. And people who like make fun of you for that shit are just fucking ignorant. Like okay. All right, Nasu, you got you got you got you got the thought process there. I like that. I re I respect that. I respect that. You know what, Nasu. All the bad shit I've said with you in this playthrough, I take it back. I respect you, girl. You go. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy? Well, there's a stipulation to that, but not the stream for that. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things, and that is true. Yeah. 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 Again, there's a stipulation to that, and yeah. Yeah. Such, such as two of the girls in this very club, whom I respectfully won't name. Okay, well. Kind of ironic that even my in my one place that of comfort, I can't even have people respect me. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. What did I do? For what's it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess thanks. But it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more, so whatever. We're done, Sherry, so you can leave now. I have a fucking funny feeling that that's gonna bite me in the ass later. Anyway, crazy bitch, let's go. Or other crazy bitch, let's go. August, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. No! I didn't just see two things that I wasn't supposed to see, right? No! Absolutely not, Monty. Definitely wasn't supposed to see her cutting- Gary cutting herself, or- her obsessively having weird eyes. Like, I wasn't supposed to see any of that, right? 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 Well? 
I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but this she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself and... Chat, for context, I don't have a camera on, but right now, I'm just holding my fucking head. Like, like I, I'm just trying like, to not internally scream right now. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything. No. No, it's not. It's obsession is what it is. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. Addiction or obsession, chat? I am betting both. It might even be a... Uh... Okay, like, I know, again, I'm not the one to kink shame here, but, like... No. <clears throat> no. No. Just... Uh... Fucking no! Game. What? Why the fucking face, Monica? Chat, I fucking hate this bitch. The fact that we have this, right? And her face is like this. And we're talking about fucking cutting here, by the way. Okay, th this bitch gives me like unsettling fucking vibes that I can't even fucking rub off. Not that way. Not, not that fucking way. Shut up. But like, you get what I mean. Like, I can't get this feeling of like... Oh my god, like, can we not deal with this shit today? <laughs> can we not? But the point is, is you've got- you've been kind of enabling her. What? How? I've been nice to her? Okay. I'm not saying it's your fault- you're the one talking about fucking cutting- her cutting herself and that being a sexual thing. With that- with that fucking fuck me eyes! Like... <clears throat> composure, Lilac. August, composure. Composure. Lilac. Come on. Composure. Chill. It's a video game. It's fucking with your head a bit, but it's, it's a video game nonetheless. Chill. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be the best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy and spend a little more time with me. No. Go fuck yourself. As a matter of fact, fuck yourself to the fourth dimension. Bitch. To put it lightly, at least I have I have it together in the head, and I know how to. Tr no. Fuck you. I don't forget about Sayori. Fuck you. No. You should be gone. I don't say that lightly either. I say it with the fucking highest predicament in the highest chain of order. Bitch. You need to go. If. It weren't for my confusion and clarification of whether I should have you in this game still, I should have fucking deleted your character file. As a matter of fact, I- no. no. Anyway, you want to read my poem? No! Fuck you! Get the fuck out of it. get the fuck out of the classroom! I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you- No! I fucking despise you! You're an absolute bitch! Dude, you can't even take into account, like, I'm like, oh, chat, listen, I know I'm taking this way too seriously because, like, holy shit, it's, like, a serious, like, wow, August, you're, like, taking a fucking fictional video game character to way too literal and serious. Jesus, fuck. Like, yes, I am, and I'm aware of this, but, like, this kind of thing infuriates me. It does. Okay. Growing up with people who struggled with mental, mental health problems and one of them actually passed away because of their mental health and they she was a cutter hearing shit like that being like oh yeah well at least my head is screwed on bitch i would like you to be dead like it literally it's like as if this game was perfect for me because it knows like 
the worst shit that has happened in my life gets unopened because of this fucking game. Alright. Save me. The colors, they won't. Bright, beautiful coolers. A flashing, expanding, piercing, red gleam root. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. Yeah, and you yeah, you just said you had it in the head, right, Monica? Right. Okay, Monica Chan. Um The noise, it won't stop. Vi vi oh, gra grating waveforms. Screeching squeaking, screeching, piercing. Cine con sign con Are those math oh, are those math things? I think those are math things, yeah. Sine consigne tan- yeah, tangent is a math symbol, actually. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a knife on a break breathing rib cage. Of meaningless. Delete her. You know what's fucking funny? Didn't I just say earlier I was gonna be like, ah, delete her. I was gonna fucking delete her. I guess that's the game telling you you need to delete her, like, right now. Well, what if I, like... Nah, you know what? I want to see how this plays out. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. I don't want to fucking know your writing tip of the day. Okay, I don't fucking care. You're you're no. N no. 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 Nit. Nit. Nine. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. And what when that happens, don't forget to save your game. Well, now that you mention it. You know, you never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. This is the part where I have to go into the fucking files, right? Where I have to read the fucking thing. Is that what this is? Okay. Program files x86. I think I remember this. Steam. And it's what? Steam apps? Uh, is it common? Yeah, it is. There we go. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. I, 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 is this it? Oh. Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna pull this up real quick, so that way you can see what this is. Hate this. Now that is, uh, interesting. Hold on. <laughs> Someone said, I can't believe he's actually, like, going through the files and actually playing it the way it's intended. I mean, you listen, I've never really played this game, so... What's funny is, I wasn't even aware that I could do it like this, because, um, AcerCat was the one who told me, like, yeah, this is how you play the game, you have to go into the files and fucking play it this way. File it- oh. Hold on. Like, I completely didn't realize that. Okay. Here we go. 
I'm going to let you guys read this real quick. So, again, this is my first time playing this game, so I don't know what exactly I'm getting myself into. So, anyway, I hate this. I can't do anything, nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would really, really, it would be really, really easy to kill myself right now. But that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want for you is to hate them. Why is that so hard? Okay, that's interesting. Anyway. Um, yeah. Hey, chat. Can you see? Is it being stupid? Oh, there we go. Okay, everyone. Also. Really? Fucking really? <sighs> the game taunts me. I hate you, game. Sayori. It literally is taunting me with Sayori. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? <sighs> okay, we have something- like, Comrade Sayori, man. She died in vain. We have something. We have something we need to get out, go over today, so everyone can have a sit in front of the room. Is that is it? This about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. Right? Okay. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're not gonna keep, we're gonna keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since August joined and we have all started this with some club activities. But this isn't, this isn't time for us to become complacent. We're still, we still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We've are we already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? Inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. That's kind of scary that you say that because literally we just read you said you want uh, you want to kill yourself and that like you want these two motherfuckers gone. So, um, I don't know. Should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I never, I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard to put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Alright, August. Uh, oh, come on. You can't take advantage of August to agree with you just because he doesn't know what to say you know or how to say you know it. You know what's funny? Natsu's fucking right. Dude, you know what, Natsu? Like I said, dude, I take everything I've said back against you. You're you're like the fucking you're, dude. Literally, you are like my best friend in this game right now. You're the only sensible fucking person right now, and I would fucking like not be happy if something bad happened to you. Which, knowing this game now, I think something bad will happen to you. I'm sorry. However, I really hope nothing bad happens to you because you're the only fucking sensible one in this whole game. <laughs> Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? You ain't never even talked to August, uh, talked until August joined. As for me, I just like to better here than I do at home. And August isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're a president and all, but you, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That... That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and August want to get more members too. How about I want to close this game out and call it a night? Right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. I'm not gonna lie though, like... 
Natsu is right, though, like... I don't think Yuri wants it. Neither does she. I, like I said, I'm... <laughs> Whatever, dude. If I showed as much enthusiasm Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. So if it's up to me to rescue this... So, um, no. Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club, it's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why... Why did I think everyone here saw it the same way as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. August, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can't be honest about, is it? Fact, I remember you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. No, 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 no. Yuri, stop. Stop. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. No, no, no. Mm -mm. We're not having this shit again. I remember what happened in Halloween. No, no, no. Stop. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not a crime. No. It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Shut the fuck up, Yuri. No! Nah! Nah! Stop! Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with that, with the club being that for me? These... There aren't... There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, August. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I want that, then I could have just joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. You know what though, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda glad that that de-escalated, cause... These two can get pretty fucky. And by fucky, I mean they break the world. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about the obnox that obnoxious brat? Never change. Never change game. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. Never change game. <laughs> Never change. I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. I hate you. I genuinely... Mm, okay. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, August? What do you want to get out of this club? I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own quality in a special way. And she's gonna jump cut to saying something shitty about your Natsuki. Nope, never mind. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. Oh, she has blood in her eye. Nice! Yeah, nah, yeah. That's fine. Is that gonna stay? That's gonna stay. All right. Is it gonna continue? Did it stop? Did she stop bleeding from her eye? Hey Yuri. Huh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I'm still- I still think you're a wonderful vice president. You're all- and also a wonderful friend. M Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this club the best club ever. 
Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's go home for the- oh, okay. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, August? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with August before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of this of his time here and all that. Okay, I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see you, the two of you tomorrow. Alright, Monica. We well, had some talking to do. You had some explanations to give. You're not going to give me anything. I guarantee that. However, speak. Things have been a little, a bit hectic lately, haven't they? August, I tried to, uh, I just wanted to make sure that they were enjoying your time at this club. I really hate seeing, hate to see you unhappy. Well, that's your fault. I feel like I'm kind of responsible for that as a vice president. Oh, look, the static's coming back. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Uh, with how mean Natsuki is and everything, you're being a little bit, you know... <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. Hey, you know why you're... you're mm, I feel a little uncomfortable. You know what I mean? No, I don't. No, I'm a real person. I'm a real boy! And, uh... You're a fictional girl, but it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say anything weird. There's just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things that I can only, only you could understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop it. Okay. Um, should I keep going? You know what? Yeah, I want to keep going. Awesome. Uh, glitchy text. Uh. Oh. oh. Oh, nice. Wasn't expecting this. Pickle. Okay. Chocolate, um, nightgown, infinite, um, uncontrollable, uh, romance, uh, swimsuit, charm, vivacious, email, wait, right, hold on, uh, after image, doki doki, is it just counting it up to 20? Essence? Unstable, determination, tenacious. Literally just counted up the 20 through ones. Okay. I guess we're keeping going. I guess we're just gonna keep going. Cause yeah, sure. Uh, I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Is she really late again? And consider it as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me. Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that I, like, do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Get it? Because she's a cutter. I'm sorry, that's a bad fucking joke. Jesus Christ, this game is really fucky. Um, anyway, we don't need to talk about it. I just feel like I need to bring it up. I don't really care anything. Ah, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Yeah, you are. Well, August walked in too. What are you practicing? Where are you practicing? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and starting to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Ah, ha, ha, I see what you did there, Salvato. Yeah, my character doesn't have Kara's soul, but she does have passion. Ah, that's funny. That's funny. That might, 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 that might just be my fucking 
my brain fried because of this game. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and, um, right, I forgot I'm about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand that you feel not wanting the, the club to change. I think we all feel that way. So as long as you're, we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did something. Th I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But uh, I know there's this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. But I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm gonna help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Uh, ah. Uh, yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, August, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ah. Uh, that's so, Yuri. That's correct. We can start engaged in a novel that we are reading together. Aren't you glad I've gotten him into literature, Monica? Yeah, I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. It, yes, I, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I take make some tea first? Not at all. Thank you very much. If there's one thing that I can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow, okay. Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches the, an electric kettle. So, are we going to see the same thing happen? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. Tuesday. Yep. Ah. Did you really- Yes. Jesus Christ, this is like- Was so this literally the same thing that happened? 10 minutes pass. You said it wouldn't take long. Let's see. Yeah, it's the same fucking bullshit. Okay. August, there's a little bit more nuance to it this time, I think. Maybe. Alright, let's let's see what just happens here. Ha <sighs> ha. Right. Okay, you know what? Gonna just uh leave that like that. I uh, I'm gonna quit for now. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Right. Okay. Well. That's Doki Doki for tonight. 